welcome to another microsoft excel tutorials and microsoft excel is a powerful spreadsheet application that is used for performing arithmetic operation and in this video i am going to share a very pro tip and also advanced tip which will be very useful and also needed to every excel user and this tip is total hidden from most users who normally use excel only those who have an advanced knowledge of excel will be able to identify this particular tip and when i had this i decided to share with you in this particular video so let's jump right in and identify this special tip we are going to learn in this video in excel when it comes to entering of data you need to select a cell based on how you have designed or schedule your data physically on a medium which you want to illustrate or implement in microsoft excel so you can select any cell within your worksheet so if i select this cell i can enter any data into this cell and after entering a data into a cell you can hit the tab key and this moves you to another cell beside the previous cell and you can also enter a new data into this cell now you can see that i have entered this data into this individual cells when you move to colon b i have this data available and when i select this cell and move to my formula bar this is the data that i have in this cell but when you look at this cell in this worksheet some of my data is hidden and when i move to this i have the same implication some of this data or portion of this data is hidden so to make this visible in their individual cells we have so many ways we can do that you can click to select these columns then you double click on any of the separators within these columns and this is going to adjust your columns to suit the data that you have in this individual cells you can also select this icon below this name box feature and this is going to select all the cells you have in your worksheet and when you double click on any of the separators this will also adjust your cells to suit all the data that you have in the cells you can also move to the home tab and we have this cells group we have the format command and when you click on the arrow we have auto fit colon width and this is also going to have this effect applied to your cells and now we have our data perfectly shown in their cells i am going to show you a tip which is going to limit your stress of adjusting columns and this tip is whenever you type a data into your cells it will automatically adjust to auto fit your data in your cell so let's see if we can have this magic done in microsoft excel i'm going to delete this cells now we are going to use a special hidden interface in microsoft excel to perform this operation and the first way to do this is to identify the worksheet in which you want to have this auto fit feature applied to it then you right click and we are going to have these options we are going to select view code and this opens the vba or the visual basic application within microsoft excel you can use a keyboard shortcut which is alt plus f11 and this also opens this particular vba within microsoft excel now we have a small adjustment and also customization we can apply within this interface when you move to the title bar of this window we have general and when you click on general there is a worksheet in the drop down list select worksheet and we are going to have this command available and we have our cursor blinking within the start and the end of this command 
we are going to type a simple illustration and this is the command you are going to type cells dot enter column dot auto fit and when you start to type the command you have this drop down list and you can choose the command that you want and i'm going to select the first option so you hit the tab key on the keyboard then you bring your full stop and type auto fit and we also have this option in the list i can use my arrow keys to select the option then i'm going to use the tab key again now that this command is selected you can close this window and everything is set if you type any data in your cell which is lengthier or which is going to exceed the default cell size this is going to auto fit and suit and also adjust your data so i'm going to type some data in this cell then i'll hit the tab key so you can see that this has automatically adjust this data into this cell So you can see how beautiful and also very interesting this particular tip is so when you apply this to your daily work in microsoft excel it limits your stress of adjusting columns and also rules in microsoft excel so i believe you are going to have this tip or you are going to explore this tip in your daily activities in microsoft excel so this is what i want to share with you in this particular video thank you for watching and see you in the next tutorials